Moore v. Harper is a current Supreme Court case uh, involving the uh, congressional district map in North Carolina. In taking up the case, the Supreme Court will consider the merits of a fringe legal theory called the independent state legislature theory, which could give state legislatures nearly unchecked power to set the rules for federal elections. If the uh, court adopts the independent state legislature theory in Moore v. Harper, politicians will have a license to pass undemocratic laws that thwart the will of voters by making it harder to vote. Since the independent state legislature theory suggests legislators are the only state actors that have the power to draw voting maps, the theory also puts the fate of independent redistricting commissions across the country in jeopardy. The Supreme Court doesn't have to adopt the independent state legislature theory. But even if the court takes the misstep of accepting what we think of as kind of a fringe theory, the, this ISL theory, um, there is a remedy that would still exist, and it's only one, but it's an important one. Congress would still have the power to intervene and ban gerrymandering of state congressional district maps. It's very clear under the Constitution that that power would remain. And so that's where people will have to turn if the court makes what we consider a mistake and adopts the independent state legislature theory.